So this month in the practice, as a team, we looked at the human dimensions of change and how that can help us work together more effectively as a team. The human dimensions of change is a part of the General Practice Improvement Leaders Programme, which I learned about. It describes our motivational values, both when things are going well and when things are not. We discovered that we were a very people-orientated team and some of us were also very performance-orientated but there was absolutely nobody in the team that was process-orientated. So this learning's been really useful for me because although I get very impatient with process and it's not one of my natural motivations, I can still do it so now I'm more mindful about applying myself to look at those processes so that we can actually deliver things like our childhood immunizations more effectively. One of the changes we're making after the session is that we're now building in very consciously a process for our childhood immunizations. In the past we have reached our 92% target but it's been a mad panic in the last two weeks before the end of the quarter and now we've built in a system where we're having a look at that weekly. So the practice nurse is now going to look at the immunization rates on a weekly basis and plan the process. Last month I led a quality improvement session with seven other practices in my local cluster. We wanted to talk about how we were feeling currently in general practice and all the group felt that at the moment there was a real lack of time to do the work that we wanted to do to help our patients and there was also a, a lack of control over our workload. But the most enjoyable part of the job for all colleagues, both the GPs in the room and the non-clinicians, was the patient contact and being able to make a difference for patients' lives. So in terms of tackling the issues, we wondered who would be able to help us make a change. During the discussion, we then discovered that actually, if we wanted to make a change, we could make that change ourselves and we had the power to do that. I then introduced the change module which I had encountered in my GP Improvement Leaders Programme and we spoke about the centre of the model being the shared purpose. Our shared purpose after discussion was quite clear. We wanted to have more control over our workload so for example we wanted to have more direct contact with our allied health professionals such as our district nurses. We also wanted to use our time more efficiently and seven practices were often duplicating a lot of the work and we wanted to work collaboratively to ensure that we could save that time and do it once. We came away thinking that we were definitely going to collaborate in this new year and the next steps are now to meet again and build on our successful meeting in December.